So many restaurants love to throw around the term authentic, authentic cuisine. What Atlanta eats, authenticity matters. And that's why when we found this spot in Sandy Springs, just outside the perimeter, we knew we hit the jackpot. Caribbean, island, Jamaican food that is absolutely on the money. World-class chef, amazing dishes, oxtail and red snapper, and spices and flavors. And wow, what a killer lounge on top of it. Let's hang at Chef Rob's Caribbean Cafe. My name is Chef Rob. I'm Chef Rob Caribbean Cafe. Chef Rob is an authentic Caribbean cafe located in the heart of Sandy Spring. We wanted to try some Jamaican food, and I love Jamaican food because of the Indian influence that it has. Food is delicious, uh, great customer service, just an overall great experience. I'm fortunate to have my son, you know, Rob Jr., he's in the back. You know, my mother, is, she's back there, my wife, she's back there also. So, you know, you have to have strong people that understand your belief. 26 years ago when we met in high school, I remember asking him, what school are you going to? Because everyone was into basketball. So he said CIA. CIA? What is that? I went to CIA, which is a Culinary Institute of America. And I had a great opportunity of coming to Atlanta in 98 to open up, you know, Justin's in, uh, in Buckhead. And after I did a four-year stint with Justin's, I decided I really wanted to step out on my own. And I started my catering company, and then I ventured off to uh, opening, you know, Chef Rob's about 11 years ago. So I think when I put this together, I had no doubt whatsoever, you know, that this was going to work. Food is awesome. I love Caribbean food. I love the spiciness. I love the flavors. You feel like you're eating home cooking? That's a nice appeal to, to why I come here. Um, it's definitely a comfortable environment. You kind of feel at home, and you're getting um, what, what I call homey food. It tastes exactly how my, my mother would cook it. Today I had the jerk chicken quesadillas. They had, um, I think it was like a chipotle mayo on there. Good, awesome. So if you look at the menu, it's a, it's a menu that's it's functional. I use jerk in a lot of different stuff. To jerk a chicken, what we do, of course, we take this chicken, cut it up, and we score it to make sure that when we jerk the product, all the natural peppers and onions and ginger, it's marinated into the meat of the chicken. So when you, when you grill it, you smell the flavor profile. A lot of people think that when you have jerk chicken, it's supposed to be hot. Right. That's not the case. It just needs to have a lot of flavor. That's what jerk is all about. Well, today we're making a jerk chicken egg roll. It's just basically zucchini, yellow squash, carrots, and cabbage. And then what we do, we take some jerk chicken breast, we marinate that in authentic jerk season, we grill that, and then we dice it, and we add it to the mixture. The next step is to uh, get the egg roll skin, make sure it's nice and even. You have to make sure that you seal it so you extract most of the air pockets that's in the egg roll. We're gonna place it in a fry basket for about 325 degrees. Once it's completely cooked thoroughly, we cut it on a bias and we serve it with a homemade mango marmalade sauce. And that's one of our most popular dish here at Chef Rock Ribbon Cafe, the jerk chicken egg roll with the mango marmalade. We just have went through some curry goat roti. Uh, we got these wings sitting here right here. and. What I've had so far, it's been awesome. So I'm having the oxtails, which is like my favorite dish. It's a traditional dish of Jamaica. That's probably the only beef that we eat in Jamaica. Wherever you go, wherever you travel in the world, people love to eat oxtails. Oxtail is actually the tail of the cow. And, and what we do, we, uh, we sear it real good, and we cook it in, a, in an oven for about three hours, so you get a lot of the flavor from the bone. You can't be cute when you eat it, you know what I mean? So you just kind of like got to go in with your hands. And the first thing you bite into is the meat. And last but not least, everybody suck the bones because of all the gravies and the juice. So I decided, okay, I want to do a food truck. A lot of people have been telling me, listen, there's no Caribbean food truck out there. You have a good product. People don't know what you're doing on the other side of town. So instead of you coming on my side of town, I'll bring the food to you. So whenever there's a lot of function, uh, Taste of Atlanta, Taste of Sandy Springs, the Piedmont Food Truck Festival, you know, I try to get involved, you know, to try to educate people about Caribbean cuisine. Upscale Lounge, that's party, 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 party. It's a little different, of course. Um, that's the nightlife side. We come and we party like rock stars. So we do comedy on Thursday evenings, Friday and Saturday. We have a DJ that comes in from 9 to 2 a.m., so we go pretty hard. You know, we, we take it to another level, um, especially on the weekend, because, you know, it's a grown and sexy um, clientele. They come out, they have a good time, they party and they don't have to feel threatened. So everyone that comes to Chef Rob, they feel comfortable. 
that they're in a safe environment. It's really nice for the grown and sexy. Yeah. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have some friends that go there all the time and they've been asking me to come out, so I think after coming here, I'll definitely partake. It's always a relaxed environment. When you come in, you hear the laid back Caribbean music. So it kind of puts you in a trend of, okay, yeah, I'm in the island, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out, that's my beach, that's out there. With the service, of course, we get to know the customers. Some of them have been coming here for so long that we know them, not just them, their families, um, so and their orders, of course. So when they walk in the door, sometimes we can see the cars pull up, and we know exactly what they wanted to eat. So we know right off back, we can get the order in and take care of them on a personal level. I have great respect for the staff. I remember one time this one of the staff members saw my car pulling up, and because I come here so often, they just put in my order. So it, it was, it's awesome. They're just very friendly and they know you by name if you're here all the time. That's, I like that. Well, my responsibility as a Caribbean chef is to make sure that the food is authentic as, as possible because I know my people, you know, they're very critical about everything. So I got to make sure that when I do it, I do it right.